The micro bits can communicate with each other wirelessly. The, one of the ways that they can do this is through what is called the radio function. And you can see in the middle of the interface here we have a tab called radio. If we click on that we can see a few blocks that are connected to this idea of sending receiving messages between micro bits. Now to better understand the idea behind this and how this actually works with the micro bit we can use the analogy of a walkie talkie. And for anybody who's used a walkie talkie before we know that in order for two walkie talkies to send and receive messages between each other they both first of all have to be on the same channel. And the same thing happens with the micro bits. If we go into our radio section we can see down here at the bottom a block that says radio set group and there's a number there. If we grab that we can connect it into our on start block. And what this is saying radio set group is that we want all of the micro bits that we want to communicate we want them all to be on this same group and it doesn't really matter what the group is called we can call it anything we can keep it as group 1 or we can change this number to let's say 20 the main thing here though is that every single micro bit that we want to be communicating with each other has to be on this same group number. So as long as all of our micro bits are set to the same group, in this case 20, then we know that any messages we send out to the group are going to be received by all of the th those micro bits. Now if we use the same code that we had done for our conditional statement exercise, um, we can expand on this. So let's say for example we don't just want one micro bit to play a tone when we press the buttons on it. Let's say that we want two micro bits to communicate with each other wirelessly so that when I press the A button on my micro bit the message is then sent to a second micro bit and their micro bit is the one that plays this tone. Now to do that we have to change our code. We can sort of edit what we have here already. So what I'm going to do to start with is pull those sounds out of our code. And now if we go back into our radio section we can actually at the very top here see a couple of blocks that can be used to send messages out to the group. Because basically if we look at this conditional statement we're saying when I press the A button I want to send a message out to the group of micro bits that are all on this this same channel. So if we go into our radio we have radio send number and we also have radio send string which is just a, a, a text, a, a word or whatever um, here. So you can actually use either one of these two blocks to send a message out to the group. Now the reason why you can use any of them or either one of them is because this is just a, an arbitrary message that is sent out to the group. It doesn't have to say something specific. Here for example I'm going to actually use the radio send number and if I duplicate this I can snap radio send number into both of these conditional statements. Now at this moment they both say zero. We want to change that because they are two separate conditional statements. So I'm going to make one, the first one one and the second one two. So now what this is saying is that if I press the A button I'm going to send out the message number one. If I press the B button I'm going to send out the message two to this group that are all on the same channel. Now so that's the first half of our code. What we want to do next is build a sequence of code that tells our micro bits what to do when they receive either one of these messages. Now to do that we need to go back into our radio section and below our radio send blocks we have radio received. And what we're going to do is grab the on radio received received number block because we're dealing with numbers, right? and we're going to drag it and snap it into our workspace. 
Now what we're going to do is use these tones along with a second conditional statement inside of this block here to tell our micro bits what to do when they receive these messages. So to get a conditional statement, again we're going into our logics section and I'm going to grab an if else statement again and I want to create an if else statement or that looks the same as this. So I'm going to click on my gear again and I'm going to grab an else if and snap it into this statement so that we have the same number of uh, conditions listed here as we do over here. Now what we're going to do next is actually go into our logic section again and I want to grab the equals block and I'm going to snap it in here. I'm going to duplicate this and snap it in here as well. So, and what we're going to do with these equal blocks is we're actually going to build a statement that will read exactly like a sentence. If we go into the variables section next, we can see that now that we're using received numbers, sent and received numbers, the variable called received number is popping up in our variable section as well. We're going to grab that and we're going to snap it into here to help us build this conditional statement. And I want to duplicate that and snap it in the same spot down here as well. So now it's starting to sound more like a sentence. If receive number is equal to, and we're going to actually change this zero to a one, and then we're going to take our sound and snap it in there to complete that statement. So what this statement says is that if the receive number is equal to one, then play tone middle C for one tone, one, one beat. And we can finish this statement as well, but have it refer to if receive number is equal to two, then play middle A for one beat. And this essentially is our code. So that now what's happening is that when I press my A button, someone else on the same group as me is going to receive the message one. When I press the B button, someone else on this group as well is going to receive the message two. When they receive that message one, they're going to play the middle C note. If they receive the message two, they're going to play the middle A note. And that's it. So essentially for my micro bit and another micro bit in my partner's hands to communicate back and forth with the same messages, they can have this exact same code on both of them so that if they press their A or B buttons, I'm going to receive those messages as well.